God loves his children, his sheep. He loves to care for them. He loves to watch over them. And today's session is about God's sheep. You know, in 3 John 2, it tells us what the Father's wish is for his sheep, for his children, for all of us that are in the family of God. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and that you be in health, even as your soul prospers. And that is his desire for us. And as he watches over us and as he takes care of us, uh, he brings us comfort and he brings us peace and he brings us his love. God is love. And he brings us mercy every day. His mercies are new every day. You know, in Psalms 95, uh, it says here in verse 6, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the sheep of His pasture, the sheep under His care. Today, hear His voice, and do not harden your hearts. That's so important that we hear the voice of the Father as He speaks to us, His sheep. You know, in, in John, I will, first of all, let's go to uh, Psalms 100, verse 3. It says here, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. And as we go back to Psalms 23, King David knew that he, King David himself was a shepherd. He knew about the sheep. And he knew that they needed tender, loving care. Sheep are gentle. They're not like goats. They are easily led. They are... Um, they are content uh, with the green pastures and they like to be led by the still waters where they can drink and they are not argumentative. They are easy uh, to, uh, to be uh, led from one place to the other place. In Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures, and He leads me beside the still waters. I'm going to ask you a question today. Are you in the green pastures? And are you, as one of God's sheep, are you by the still waters? Are you in a peaceful place today? If there is not peace in your heart, and if there's not peace in your body, and if there's not peace in your mind, then you need to go to the Lord and ask Him to begin to teach you and begin to show you His Word and so that you can come into that peaceful place uh, with Him. You know, John 10.10, 10, it says, you know, the thief is going to come and he's going to try to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I have come to give you life and to give you life more abundantly. You know, let's go back a little ways. And it says here um, in verse um, 3, The watchmen are the porter. The Holy Spirit opens the door uh, for Jesus. And the sheep hear his voice. They listen to his voice. And that is so important as being one of God's sheep and one of God's children that you hear his voice as he leads you and as he guides you, as he gives you direction from day to day that He will lead you in the paths of righteousness and He will lead you into those peaceful pastures. He will feed you. He will nourish you. He will sustain you. He calls His own uh, by name and leads them out. When, he, when the sheep, um, it says, when He has brought them out of His own, He goes on ahead of them and the sheep follow Him because they know His voice. You know, in Romans uh, chapter 8, verse 14, it says, All those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. You know, and this is the time. 
people of God, to rise up. This is the time, sheep of God, to lie down in the green pastures and to go by the still waters and drink from the clear water of the Lord, the living water. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. It's so important to know who you are listening to, who is teaching you. It says know uh, those that, lay, that you labor with. Uh, it's, it's very important in this day and time not to be deceived and not to follow after a strange voice. The voice of the Father will always be according to the Word of God. That's His voice. This is His voice. And He will lead you and He will guide you into those peaceful places in your life. You know, it's also important to, uh, to study the Word of God, to be approved as a workman, needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of truth. And as you study for yourself and as you listen to the voice of the Father, the Good Shepherd, you will be peaceful and you will know what you are to do. It's important to hear from the Father in this day and time. And not to follow a strange voice. If it sounds strange to you, then go to the Word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, we, are, have, we have a witness on the inside of us that when something is of the Lord, we know it as His sheep. I pray for you this day that you will come into that peaceful place. Lie down in the pastures. And let the Father touch you. Let him run his hands through the wool. And as he runs his hand through the wool, the anointing, the oil, rises to the surface. And as the Father touches you, touches you in your heart, touches you in your body, touches you in your mind, then that anointing will begin to flow through your life. And the anointing is what makes the difference. And the anointing destroys every yoke that you might have in your life. I pray for you today that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. King David said in Psalms 23, He restoreth my soul. And I ask the Good Shepherd to restore your soul this day your will, your emotions, your mind, your will, that all of those will come in line with the Word of God. We are His sheep this day. Thank you for viewing. She